Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will explore the collapse or the accordion component from end design. We will see how we can add different panels in it and how we can expand different content. And then we will see how we can customize the header of the panel and how we can make uh, some of the panels are disabled. Then we will see how we can add the extra components like the download the information buttons at, uh, on each panel. Then we will see how we can customize the expand or the collapse icons. And also we, we will see how we can make this as according. So uh, at max there is one panel opened. So let's get started. I have an empty React.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing. So let's go ahead and import the collapse component from end design and start using it. So it will be collapse and inside that we will be using collapse.panel collapse dot panel and each panel will have contain mm, the header that we want to show and on when user click on that header the this particular panel will collapse or expand so we can say this is a panel one and inside uh, each panel uh, we we can return any react uh, component so that that we want to be shown when this uh, panel is uh, expanded so we can write maybe uh, typography dot text we can say this is a uh, content of panel one right i have a separate video on typography i will mm, give its link in the description below so you can take a look Okay, so when I save it, it shows this is a panel one, this is a panel and header is shown here and when user click on it, it expands and show the content. So this is the content of the panel one. So let's copy this one and add a few more panels. So suppose we have three panels, panel two and this is the content of panel two and this is panel three and this is the content of panel three. And also, if for in each panel, uh, we can we should add a key uh, to uniquely identify uh, which panel this is. And uh, later on, we can add the default opened uh, panels in the in the collapse. So one, two, three. Uh, I will show you in a while. Okay. So this is panel one, panel two, panel three. Here you go. One, two, three. So right now you are seeing that uh, as soon as I uh, click on any of the panel, it expanded, and if I click in another panel, it expand too. So if we want that uh, at a time only one panel should should be expanded, uh, we can use the accordion uh, props from the collapse. So we can say accordion is is equal to true. So in that case, if I click on panel 1 it will expand and if we click on panel 2 panel 1 will collapse and panel 2 will expand and so on so forth so at a time only one panel will be opened right let's make it back to false and now if we click on any other panel it will expand right okay so uh, here we can uh, customize each and everything so we have seen that uh, here we can return any react component so uh, for showing the content and also we can uh, customize these headers as well so in place of the headers we can uh, return also return any react component so let me try to run a tip maybe we can say this is a custom panel header right here you go this is a custom panel header it is shown so we cannot add anything here uh, in place of the header right and also for each panel uh, we can add any extra buttons here if we need it so suppose on, on some panels if we want uh, maybe a download button or more info button and then we can do that as well so let's add a panel and 
this will be the fourth one sorry four four okay so let's add the extra uh, in this panel so here we can return anything uh, in the extra so let's turn the button and we can say maybe download right here you go the download button has been added right and also we can customize uh, these icons as well so that will be in the collapse and we can customize those as well so th those will be expand icon and in each expand icon we will be getting its props so one prop is is active that means it is expanded and in that case we can return anything here so suppose we want uh, return let's return uh, uh, and design icon uh, maybe carrot uh, right field right and let's save it sorry the return chicken is missing here you go save it right uh, but right now it's uh, always uh, towards the right so we can use uh, the rotate prop from the icons so we can say if it's active then rotate is 90 degree otherwise rotate 0 okay here you go I have a separate video on uh, how to use and design icons as well. I will uh, give its link in the des description below. Okay, now if I refresh and here you go. So when it is open, it is arrow down and then back, right? So we have seen how we can customize the header, the icon, and the content, and also we can uh, change the position of these uh, icons as well towards the right if needed so it will be the expand icon position so either it's at the end of the content or to the left right or the start so let's add to the right here you go so now it's on the right side right and if i say on the start it will go here right so we can change it their position as well it's so also uh, if suppose for some reasons uh, some of the panels we want to disable them for for some users we can do that as well uh, so suppose we have uh, let's disable this one the uh, panel 2 so it will be collapsible and there are two values either by clicking on the header it will uh, it will trigger or it is disabled so now if it is disabled user cannot expand it right and if we want by default some of these to be expanded we can do that as well so that will be default active key and here we can pass uh, the keys so suppose we want first to be expanded and the second one also to be expanded although this is disabled but uh, we can pass that it is uh, by default is expanded but user cannot collapse it so it is disabled for the user for any action so user cannot expand or collapse this one uh, but we can say here that uh, by default it's opened or closed right and also uh, here we are seeing that there is a border al along the panels uh, we can remove that as well so it is border is equal to false it will go and we can see there is a background color uh, the light gray background color we can remove that as well so that is post is equal to true right so we see it is uh, showing without the border without the background colors and now if i make this according again to true so at max it will be one shown right so it will uh, collapse others as soon as I expand any of these okay so this is how uh, we use the collapse component from end design uh, and we have seen how we can make it accordion and this is very helpful component if, uh, when we have uh, suppose 
uh, a lot of information we have to show on a page and by default we do not uh, we do not need to clutter the page so we can by default collapse it and um, based on the user's uh, wish if we want to expand we can right so that's it on exploring the collapse component from end design if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned anything in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you